Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last month I let you know that following the installation of the June 2025 Windows non-security preview update, the security event logs might include an error event related to Windows Firewall. And that was an ongoing saga where Microsoft said it fixed it, then it said it didn't, and then it did fix it. And according to Microsoft, the issue was resolved in the July 2025 Windows non-security preview update and later updates. I'll leave the video linked down below and in the end screen for what it's worth. Now it seems that the same update that fixed that issue, so if we just quickly head into our Windows updates for Windows 11 24H2, our update history, which was this update, KB5062660, is now causing a very similar issue. So we're basically coming full circle once again. And this is all according to a confirmation over on Microsoft's known issues health dashboard page with Microsoft now saying, and I'm quoting, following installation of the July 2025 Windows non-security preview update, which is this update, 5062660, and later updates, including the August 2025 Windows security update, which I posted on earlier today. I'll leave the video for this linked. Event Viewer may display an error related to certificate services client, which can be safely ignored. Now, Microsoft says the issue only manifests as an entry in the Windows Event Viewer, which is a legacy component of the operating system, with error RD57. And the event shows the message, and I'm quoting once again, the message is, the Microsoft Pluton cryptographic provider, provider was not loaded because initialization failed. Now Microsoft says that please note that although this event is logged in Event Viewer every time the device is restarted, it does not reflect an issue with any active Windows component. So it's exactly like the previous one where Microsoft is basically saying, it's just an event viewer error. It's not actually causing any problems with your actual operating system. Now, Microsoft carries on to say this event is related to a feature that is currently under active development, exactly the same as the previous one, a feature under active development. It said that there is no impact to Windows processes associated to this event and no action is required to prevent or resolve this error. So basically, Microsoft is saying once again to ignore this error, it's posing no threat or harm to your system. And the next steps, Microsoft says, it's working on a resolution and will provide an update in an upcoming release. So obviously, I will let you guys know about that. But it's, but I think it's ironic that the same update that Microsoft said patched the last event viewer firewall issue is now causing and has started to cause error events that are logged for certificate services client in the event viewer. And obviously, if I get more info, I'll post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.